know. With this ring. And I'm intellectually curious but emotionally apprehensive orange. <laughs> it's so accurate. What? It's a thing. If I put on a Lulu Foo Foo mood ring, it would glow positivity power purple, because I'd be so psyched to have it. But right now, I'm bummed out blue, because the cash flow is a no-go. I used the last of my allowance on supplies for my new sneakers. Ah! Maybe you could ask your parents for the mood ring funds. I did. Mom said, and I quote, no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Your whole allowance on shoe supplies? Not even I need that many razzle-dazzle laces. Not shoe laces. Suction technology for my new sticky sneak. Oh, ah! <sighs> oh boy. Window one, sticky sneaks zero. Go big! They're probably not working because glass is low in friction, meaning it's more slippery and thus more difficult to create traction. Hmm. Could you send that to me, Shawnee? Sure thing, pal. Open the window! I'm late for my 10 o'clock to ogle my mood ring. Laters! Okay, one little adjustment and I'm pretty sure... Hey, Polly Pie, big news. Miss Mentz canceled this afternoon, but we still need a sitter for PAX while we're at Pierce's karate match. So... You're finally gonna let me babysit? Sure. I don't know about this. She's ready, hun. I suppose. Look, if everything goes smoothly, we'll buy you that Choo Choo Magoo thingy. The Lulu Foo Foo ring? I promise I'll be the best babysitter ever! You can start by running to the car and grabbing Pax's things. On it! Bottles, binkies, toys. Oh, can't forget Boo Boo. Done! All I need now is the baby. Keep a close eye on him. You know how he loves to climb. Your dad and I are gonna go get some lunch. The number of the restaurant is on the fridge. We're also gonna pick up some more baby wipes. Don't worry, you have enough for the day. And then we'll only be at Pierce's martial arts competition until- Honey, 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 don't worry. Polly can handle this. Call me if there's any problem. Of course. Say bye-bye, Pax. Bye, Polly. Bye, Pax. <laughs> You get to spend the whole afternoon with me, Pax. Fun, huh? Okay, not fun. Don't cry. Don't cry. Here. What do you want? Um. Snackies. Fishy crackers? Teething pickle? Oh, man. That's more than I cried when I found out Glad was a new houndstooth. This kid is losing it. <laughs> Don't worry, Polly. I researched the best toys for babies, and I brought this. It is everything kids want. Keys, rattle, and animal noise machine. See? He loves it. I got this. Clearly, Pax is crying because of his outfit. Look at him. I'd be crying if I was wearing that, too. Wipe away those trendless tears. You're gonna be the most styling baby in the playpen. Come on, Paxie. You know you can hit the homer. Giddy up and go, little buddy. Stop the show. How do you not love the aquatic look? It's, like, totally in. Nothing's working. Maybe you should just call your mom and get her advice. No, if I call, they'll know it's not going smoothly and no Lulu Foo Foo for me. <gasps> if we know how he's feeling, we'll know what to do. I swore I'd never take it off, but anything to stop the crying. <gasps> May the mood ring enlighten us. Hmm, that's 
agitated aquamarine? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It's tense teal. I think it looks more like sullen sea foam. <laughs> Four out of five baby experts agree babies love novelty. Maybe we need to show him something so different from anything he's ever seen. Then he'll be happy. Shawnee, you're a genius. Guilty as charged. You ready to get your tiny on, little brother? <laughs> you. Tiny power. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no baby, but there is nothing to cry about if you are hanging out in the most styling miniature closet in Littleton. Yeah, tiny life seems to have really calmed him down. Oh, thank goodness. My head was about to explode. No, 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 no. Ugh. He's totally throwing off my vibes. We tried everything. It should be evolutionarily impossible for a baby to cry this much. <sighs> Wait, do you hear that? I don't hear anything. Sweet silence. That's because... <gasps> Pax isn't here! Pax? Pax Mono? Pax Paxton? Pax. Where are ya? Baby has mad climbing skills. The impact of a fall for a one-inch baby from approximately six feet is equal to, um, the eighth one. Uh, yeah, good idea. Rusty, but I think he's saying that he has a boo boo. Oh, he wants boo boo, his favorite teddy bear. Come on. <gasps> no boo boo. What? It might not be fashion forward, but the screaming is too much. You know it's bad when Lila is willing to accept a serious fashion faux pas. Focus, girls. Oh, I must have dropped Boo-Boo. <laughs> Bottles, binkies, toys. Oh, can't forget Boo-Boo. In the car when I got all Pax's stuff. So call your mom and tell her you need to get it. No, if I do that, mom will know I messed up and I won't get my Lulu Foo-Foo. <laughs> If they hear Pax screaming like this, they'll never let me babysit again. If they come home to this, you won't be babysitting again anyway. So we'll go to Pierce's karate match, get Boo Boo from the car, then come right back home. Okay, but how do we get Boo Boo from the car without your parents knowing? Hmm. Pinky, sticky sneaks, zip line, binoculars, extra diapers. Okay, I think that's everything we'll need. Ooh, ooh, don't forget Paxi's baby brand SPF 50 avocado moisturizing lip gloss. Fashion fruit and function all rolled into one. Not bad for a little guy. Now that's everything. <laughs> don't cry, Pax. We'll get your boo-boo back before you know it. Let's do this. Mom's car spotted. They must just be heading to Pierce's martial arts competition now. Pull in close. Magnification view. Hey, hey, hey! Boo -boo! Boo -boo! <laughs> That's right, Pax. And we'll have him back in a flash. Go big! You guys stay here. I'll be right back. Locked. I need Mom's keys. Uh, 
You stay here with Pax and my stuff while I get the keys. Hurry, Polly. Even when he's tiny, this little guy can out loud a Hawaiian shirt. Polly. Hey, honey, do you have any gum? Yeah, I think so. There you go. <sighs> oh, I'll never find the keys in. Oh, there they are. <sighs> go figure. Ago. Um, based on the evidence, I'd say he's no longer here. No, 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 no! <gasps> Pax! And he's snatched by Sticky Sneaks! I said it once and I'll say it again. Mad climbing skills, baby! Go get Boo Boo, I'll get Pax. Never mind, small it is. Let's go. And now, Pierce, Pierce Pocket will, will display, display his, his super breaking, breaking skills. <sighs> and Polly Pocket will display her super sneaking skills. Take those, and I'll put you somewhere safe. And now the final event of our karate meet, the Zen Shi throwing discs. Please turn your attention to the targets beneath the scoreboard. Here's Pocket! Ready? Ichi, Ni, San, go! <sighs> okay, Pax, so going down is not an option, but nobody said anything about going up! The ceiling will be perfect for the suction of my sneaks! <laughs> the 
This would have been a shade easier if we were big, but let's do this. You grab the front, I'll grab the back. <laughs> well, I'm glad you shifted from crying to laughing, Pax, but we can't stay upside down forever. Let's get out of here. And that concludes today's events. Thanks for coming out. Sayonara! No, 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 no! My folks! Lila! Shawnee! I think Boo Boo put on a little weight. What an amazing meat. Parentals! Holy high heels! Hide! Pierce is getting really good. My keys? Oh, must have dropped them on the way in. Lucky we found them. Hey, hon, you want to grab some ice cream before we go home? Honey, this is Polly's first time babysitting, and it's a long time for her to be alone. Lila! Shawnee! Oh, no! Don't worry, Pax. We'll get Boo Boo. I should have refilled the speed boosters. We can't go fast enough, Pax. They'll be home before... Wait. Genie, autopilot back home. Switching to autopilot, Polly. I think the only way to do this is if we ride with Mom and Dad. I hope you're ready for this big day to get even bigger. Uh. One, two, three. <laughs> Did you say three? <laughs> You're so smart, Pax. Polly smart. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I hope Polly and Pax are okay. Well, we didn't hear anything, so I bet everything went great. Hi, Pierce. Hey, Grasshopper. Oh, hey, don't hit me with those karate chops, okay? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very funny, Dad. Hey, listen, can I have a later curfew tonight? My friends and I want to go out to celebrate. Eh, I don't know. But, Mom, this is like the biggest day of my life. Max, David, Isaac, and Jax are all going to hang at Peanuts Pit Stop for the pinball marathon, and Jax owes me three games. Isaac said he could beat Max no problem, and I have to see this. Not to mention yeah! I got Peanut and knocked in a new cupcake that's... Did you get Boo Boo? <sighs> no way to get the bear without risking parental exposure. I can't let my parents hear him cry. I've got to get him inside and calm him down. Okay, Pierce, you win. See you later. <gasps> you have to distract them while I get Pax inside. No problem. You got it. Go big! Lila and Shawnee! Oh, hi, Lila. Shawnee? I didn't see you there. Oh, yeah. We were uh, just uh, going for a ride. Oh, a walk. Our traditional afternoon constitutional. Uh, constitutionally traditional ride walk. Hey, girls, we'll go get Polly and send her out. Um, so soon? Didn't you just go to Pierce's karate match? Tell us everything. Oh, uh, well, first up was the kata, and Pierce was like, Thunder Punch! Oh, okay. Ooh, nice dad moves, Mr. P. It was just like that. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I would assume. Assuming she were to assume while we were on our constitutional ride. Walk. Okay, honey, that's enough. We better go check on Pax. For right now? But we really wanted to talk to you. We really did. Both of you, like, together. It's important. Really, really super important. Really? Are you having trouble at school? Is it a bully? Or a boy? Actually, uh, I was wondering, um, what are your thoughts on the global economy? The very global economy. Right on time, Genie. Go big! <laughs> oh, I see, though. Aw, getting tired, Paxi. I'm so sorry, Pax. I really wanted to get you Boo Boo. I know that's the only thing you want. 
Pawi. Pawi. Wait, you want me? <sighs> Polly, I saw. Shh. He's sleeping. I was about to come inside when I noticed Boo Boo in the back seat. I thought you'd never calm Pax down without him, but I guess you did. Yeah, he seems pretty happy. He does. You've never spent that much time alone with Pax before. We did spend a lot of time together today, and it was pretty great. Well, I think you're pretty great. You proved you're an amazing babysitter, and you definitely earned your bonus. Ready to go to the mall and get that mood ring? <sighs> nah, I don't need a mood ring to tell me I'm positivity power purple right here with Pax. <laughs> oh boy. Which brings us back to the Yuan. Uh, I think I'm at my best when I'm in rescue mode. We're coming, Polly! A popcorn machine on a sub? Aquatic aperitifs are going to seriously trend. This sub is even better than the sub the Y girls used in the episode where they visited the alien water world. Thanks, Shawnee. Ahoy! We found the treasure! Uh... <gasps> Hello, rubies! Polly, time to go! Parental alert! You're dead! Polly, you in there? Go freak out! Polly, time to go to the bi beach. Wow, what? What are you doing? <laughs> Just cleaning the equipment. Ow! <laughs> oh, we take off in two minutes. Remember, we can't be late because... It's the anniversary of when you and Mom got married and everything has to be... Perfect! Phew, <sighs> close call. Sorry, crew. Aw, the annual anniversary beach date. Ooh, that's cuter than a button on a button. Oh, before you head to the fam jam, how about a go big for little Lila and Shani? Or how about a you're coming with? We've got a sub to test, high seas to hit, and anchors to... Uh, away! Beach day! Yeah! <sighs> how about this spot? Looks pretty perfect to me. That drawbridge is pathetic. More draw, less bridge. <laughs> Too many seagulls. You know what they say about seagulls? That they know how to pick the perfect spot? No, nope. they're the rats of the sea. Over there, quick! Are you sure it's okay we're tagging along, Lila? Of course, Shawnee. Polly wants us here, and the beach wants me here. Win-win. Besides, the ocean breeze makes my hair bounce delicious. Oh, boy. Hey, guys, this is the place. It's the exact spot where I proposed to your mom. This will be perfect. Great! Now that we're here, I'm gonna go to the water to... Don't you want to see my super great extra special make your mama go gaga gift? <laughs> sure. Kids, these birthstones represent our family. One for Pierce, Polly, and Paxton. Regular Lance romance over here. Okay, Pierce. Mom will love it. Now, I'll just go for a swim. And I am gonna take a much needed nap. I mentioned today has to be perfect, right? Definitely. Yes. Hey, what the? Hey, don't skedaddle. Get you crabby little crabs. Hey, <laughs> not today. <laughs> Yes, today. Today is our day, Gwen. Oh, are we finally gonna eat the whole Big Bubba's burger at Big Bubba's and get our picture on the wall? No! We are going to get Polly Pockets locked. Oh, 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 my The beach is a little more infested than I remember. I'll be back in a bit. Just going for a swim. Wait, 
Your mom's like a bloodhound. She can smell a surprise a mile off. If I have the ring, she'll know. So I need you to be the official ring bearer. Official ring bearer? That sounds official. I can do that. <laughs> I, I just had it. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, maybe I dropped it. But where? Oh, for the love of love. Dad, I'll retrace our steps on the beach. Great idea, Polly. And I'll go back to sleep. That nap was next level. Pierce, search the bags. We have to find it before your mom gets here because everything has to be perfect. <laughs> We've got to get better ventilation in there. Lila's perfume was stinking up the whole backpack. Well, I have to smell good for our adventure. Sorry, we'll sub soon, but we have to find the ring my dad lost first. Go big, Lila and Shawnee! The faster we find the ring, the faster we can test the submarine. We're happy to help. Plus, it'll give me a chance to break in my new Chloe Parmesano flip-flops. Oh, claws up the shoe, sushi roll. Look, that crab has the ring! <laughs> um, crab dance are generally on the not list. Speaking of the not list, I would never recommend the movie Night of the Claw. Having seen it makes me cautiously hesitant about this idea. Besides, the opening is way too small. <clears throat> All right, the locket, the shrinking. Tiny power! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, my God. <gasps> She's early. I'll distract her. Keep looking. Remember, sunset. Uh. Honey, darling, sweetheart. Um, hi, honey. Is everything okay? You've got some, uh... Oh, this? <laughs> you know I love the feel of sand in my face and eyes. <laughs> Makes me feel young. Come on, uh, I want to show you, uh, something. Over here! Come on, Shawnee. What do you think the little crabbies are gonna do? Attack you? <gasps> <gasps> Whoa, it's like a sparkly dream. <gasps> this cave just got upgraded to the hot list. Talk about an underground operation. Who knew crabs steal stuff? Where do we even start? Uh, guess we just have to jump in. If it gets me closer to pearls. Flingo! Lila, focus. We have to find the ring. Right, the ring. Uh, Shawnee, the blood draining from your face look, yeah, it doesn't suit you. Uh, guys? Buddy. Uh... The ring has to be here somewhere. Back off, snappy pants. Come on, Lila. I can't hold them back much longer. Mr. Pocket. Want one? Hey, Gwen, can I have one of those? Yeah, sure. 
than those crabs. <laughs> Take that, Polly Pocket! I can't see! No, the ring! Is there still something you wanted to show me? Uh, yeah. Check it out. This is something, right? Uh, yeah. Same as the last three sandcastle sculptures we saw? Thanks, skull friend. We have to get into that castle and get that ring. Polly, parental alert. <gasps> Grandier! Quick, follow me! Love how they decorated the place. Sand is so in right now. Nice, but they're mixing 16th century detailing with 17th century architecture. If I were a ring that fell from the sky and landed in this castle, where would I be? Where? Uh, Polly? The ring! <laughs> it's stuck! Hurry! <laughs> I can't hold you forever! <laughs> Did you hear that? Sounds kind of like a fountain, or a stream, or a... Got it! Ha! I got her, Gigi! I got her! No! My opus! Get that woman! You should just tell your dad it's gone. Wait, I have an idea. <sighs> Please tell me you found it. My arms are so tired and my fingertips are raw from digging. Right. Anyway, I'll be back soon with the ring. <laughs> now, would you look at that? Outhouses? Yeah, yeah, I know, but uh, uh, doesn't it have a, a Stonehenge feel to it? Uh, wait, look at those ones. Kind of a Easter Island feel? Uh, no, okay, if this is what you wanted to show me. Yeah, I, uh, no, but, uh... <laughs> Detecting level eight rip Opposing tides can cause serious turbulence. Hold on tight. Polly, rip currents are dangerous. Whoa! 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 Phew! Made it through. Just like riding a bike. Only the bike is underwater. And a submarine. How are we supposed to find a tiny ring in a big ocean? I'll use Genie to operate the radar system and scan for the ring. Right. And while you're at it, can Genie play us a calming lullaby? Not loving this scary ocean. Approximately one inch diameter, metal with mineral insects. something over there not it over there there's so much 
much junk down here. We're never going to find it. Polly, rip current returning. Level 10. Hold on! The current is too powerful. I can't fight it. That's it. We need to stop resisting and follow the current. It should lead us right to the ring. Sometimes you gotta ride the trend, girlfriend. I hope you're right, Shawnee. Concentrate. Molly? Got it. What the B B Barracuda! Barracuda? Barracuda. Oh, Barry Cuda. Well, wait, the guy that sits across from us in the cafeteria? Barracuda! Ah! <laughs> Want it. Come and get it! <laughs> no, 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 no! Oh, but get me out of here! <laughs> Girls, buckle up. Maybe we should just call it a day and head back to land where the barracuda threat is substantially lower? We're not giving up so easily. That ring meant so much to my dad. I told him I'd be the official ring bearer and I'm gonna bear that ring. <laughs> the ring is mine! Wait, I thought we're after Polly's pocket. <gasps> Polly is after the ring. Now that we have it, the rug rat will come to us. Get it? Uh. <laughs> Ready? Yes! Never! <laughs> Polly won't be able to resist our shiny new bait. The locket will be mine. <laughs> oh, then we can get more fries, right? I see it. I'm going in. Ring. Don't let her friends get it! Hand over the locket, or walk the plank. Popcorn, Shawnee. How can both of you eat at a time like this? I didn't have Shawnee bring it up here to eat. Go big! Popcorn! <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> this one's stuck in my ears! I think he likes me! Oh. Oh. Come on, hurry! Get off me, you filthy sea rats! <laughs> 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 My beachy waves are looking fab. Now that's what I call a win. Not quite yet, Lila. We still have to get back to shore. Let's do this. Oh, beach walking's great. 
huh, Snookums? Well, the first six miles were nice. I'm using Genie's diagnostic system to scan the ship. We have to fix this sub and get the ring back to Dad. Maybe we should just go big and swim back. The ocean is too choppy and we're too far from shore. Fixing the sub is our only chance. Catastrophic damage to external coupler ring. Whoa, the propeller fell off. Looks like the bolt that holds it in place broke. <sighs> what can we use to fix that broken coupler ring? Coupler ring. Coupler ring. A ring. A ring. A ring. <gasps> the ring! I just verified the specs and it's the perfect diameter. Thanks, Shawnee. Lila, did you pack the wetsuits? Hot and bedazzled. You go, girl. <laughs> Walking all day and now I'm blindfolded. I thought you wanted to show me something. Honey, I have too much work at home to be fooling around all day. I just wanted the day to be perfect. What are you talking about? I just wanted this day to be perfect. Happy anniversary, dear. This is incredible. The same spot we got engaged, but so much better now. Our whole family is here. We have come a long way. Aww. What was that? Uh, happy anniversary, Mom. I hope you like what we've done for you. Like it? I love it. Enough with the sappy stuff. Who wants some cake? <laughs> You know what they say about seagulls? They're the rats of the sea! <laughs> this is the spot, Y girls. Captain Rocco to Luna. Do you read? Loud and clear. Oxygen levels remain stable, Captain. <laughs> Are you ready to initiate phase two of the mission? Just finished, Captain Rocco. One tiny step for Y girls, one giant leap for space flag fashion. In the name of the Y girls, I, Captain Rocco. <laughs> Alien invasion! Yeah! These boots were made for running, and that's just what they'll do! We have to get out of here, to the Y ship! <laughs> What should we do? Why are you asking me? You're the captain. Ah! <sighs> Sorry, gang. I panicked. <laughs> Not even the real Y girls have ever encountered the wrath of the cat. Actually, they fought a space cat once in season eight, episode four. Wow. You really are their number one fan. And you'll be their number one best dressed fan, too. Who else can claim to have show-accurate, working space tech complete with shortwave radios and lasers? <laughs> We've got the sci-fi con costume contest in the handbag. And even better than that, I'm meeting the Captain Rocco today. <sighs> Go big! Let's get our Psycon on. Nothing can stand in our way. Well, except maybe all of them. It wasn't so bad. It only took us two hours! That means my selfie with Captain Rocco is in 15 minutes! According to the con map, Rocco's selfie booth is just over... 
getting there. <gasps> we'll never get through that line in time. Then maybe we should give up on Shawnee's selfie and hurry to get our costume contest entry photo taken. We're not giving up. There's always another way. Snacks! Get your con snacks! We can hitch a ride on the chew train! <laughs> Tiny power! <laughs> Check out that wicked costume! Whoa! Now this is the con life we were meant to live. <gasps> it's a DIY spandex paradise. Such ingenuity, such craftsmanship. But I still think our costume should win the contest. <gasps> Look! A drone's a destruction drone! <gasps> <laughs> Ooh, looks like not everyone is having a blast at the con. I recognize her from something. Autograph! Headshot! Only ten dollars! Okay, five dollars! Free? Looks like you're the only one. <gasps> wow! There it is! The Y-ship! Ooh, that'd look good sitting in that. What I wouldn't give to take a spin in that thing! Wouldn't we all? But it's the model they used in the show. It's got all the details of a working ship. No working engine. <gasps> One cotton candy coming up! Abandoned ship! <laughs> <sighs> that was close. <gasps> you okay, Shawnee? Rocco. My hero. <laughs> right on sketch for ultimate selfie. Meeting your hero's gonna be great, right? Your biggest fan, Rocco. No, no, I I'm your biggest fan, Captain. Captain Rocco. I mean, Captain, my Captain. Chill, Shans. You look great. You've got this. Just tell her you admire her bravery, leadership, piloting skills, and <gasps> disappearing maneuvers. Where did she go? Excuse me. I'm scheduled to take a selfie with Captain Rocco. I know I'm a little early, 39 seconds early to be exact, but this is the most important selfie of my life. Thank you for sharing that very interesting story. What she means is, where's Rocco? Guess she took a break. Now? For how long? No clue. She wasn't scheduled to break for another, like, hour. Don't worry, Shawnee. She'll be back soon. It doesn't make sense. Captain Rocco always operates according to a very precise schedule. No wonder she's your idol. <gasps> I meant that as a compliment. Kinda. That's not what I'm gasping about. Look! Captain Rocco's costume was ripped! Signs of a struggle. Do you think someone kidnapped her? I don't know, but we won't be sure until we find her. Totally. Right after we enter the costume contest. Lila, this is my hero we're talking about. The sooner we find Rocco, the sooner we enter the contest. She couldn't have gone far in this crowd. We just need a bird's eye view. Oh, my girls' comics. Rare Drones of Destruction Extended Universe Issues. Ditch the books, Gwen. I'm only here to buy miniatures for my collection. And, of course, to look for Polly Pocket. Gigi, oh. you promised! Fine. One Polly Free Day. There's Rocco! Yeah! I see her! Right there! Oh, no. Half the people here are dressed like her. Uh, what's that? Alright, folks, look up! It's Drones of Destruction time! Who's ready for some epic drone battling action? Watch out, Polly! <laughs> What's happening? Uh, guys, they think we're part of the Drones of Destruction battle! Do is avoid and land. Hold on! Blinding fog! This is just like Why Girl Season 6, Episode 12! Please don't maim us before I can enter the costume contest! Or before we find Rocco! I've got this! Buckle up, girls!
stage? Sweet piloting, Polly. Except that we're definitely not supposed to be back here. Let's jet before someone sees. Can't. We got a mod quad down. <gasps> Someone's coming! Hi! <gasps> I knew she looked familiar. She was the Pluto Torian villain in Why Girl Season 6, Episode 9, Scene 57. Well, it would have been Scene 57 if it hadn't been deleted. You even know the deleted scenes? Of course. Why wouldn't I? Oh, you know, maybe because they were deleted? I don't know why they ended up cutting the scene where Captain Rocco gets kidnapped and tied to a... Rocket? <laughs> Hush. I'm trying to prepare for my big scene-stealing moment. <gasps> Captain Rocco! We're moving! Hide! <laughs> okay, we just have to sneak back. We're on day alert. Make like an action figure and freeze. Ooh, miniatures. This one's interesting. <laughs> She's glued to this drone. I guess I'll give you a discount for the three Y girls and the drone. That sounds like a pretty good deal. Do you know if they have articulated appendages? The last figures I bought from a con did. They were a limited edition 3D print, which I thought would have up their value. But as it turns out, they used a cheap resin. Huh, and I know it. Habit. Scram, and tiny pocket. Tiny this was supposed to be a pocket-free day. Uh, I don't like this one. Why don't you get a Super Maxine instead? <laughs> oh, Gwen, you can't spot value the way I can. <laughs> I'll take them all! This is majorly messing my mojo. We have to help Raku before she gets rocketed. Then we have to get out of here. Want me to carry that? No, it's much too valuable. Uh, but it looks heavy and you're old. Oh, it... It's not heavy, and I am as spry as a spring chicken. Maybe we can carry it together. What's gotten into you? Oh, let's enter the costume contest. All you gotta do is pose for a picture. You promised this was a special day for both of us. <laughs> okay, okay, but quickly. Lila would say, the whole bag look isn't working for me, so how about we give it an alteration? Bash it to the rescue! Okay, okay, here's your little costume contest. Hurry up and enter it. No, I want you to enter the contest. What? Why? Uh, because your costume is awesome. What costume? Next. Gwen, that's my dead oof! Uh, this bag isn't part of the costume. It had ruined the whole thing. I want everyone to know how beautiful my Chi-Chi is, so you need to get your photo taken and enter the contest. I suppose I could show these kids a thing or two about style. <laughs> there you go, Polly. You're not gonna ruin my... huh? <gasps> Notice we're running away from the costume contest. Later, Lila. We'll get there. I know. The gal strapped to the rocket is more important. Aside. Okay, let's save our captain. Quick, this way, while the coast is clear. Go big! Genius because it was cut from the episode. Oh no, she's getting her revenge for being cut by rocketing Rocco. But fear not, because you're gonna see me now. Rocco and I will be performing a new scene inspired by the deleted one, but rewritten by moi. Which includes Rocco screaming for help. A lot of help! She's trying to shoot me into space and fry the whole con! Wow, what I tell ya? Who's ready? 
ready for a rocket job! This isn't a show! She's really gonna hurt Rocco! Shh! I'm trying to watch. Worse than bad stitching. We need to do something. Wait for it. You want us to wait in a moment like this? Any minute now, Rocco will use her hidden rope cutter to free herself, just like she did in the deleted scene. Watch. You don't have to do this. Is it money you want? I have money. Maybe she forgot about it. How could she forget? She always cuts the ropes, then sends a message back to the ship. <gasps> That's it. Our comm bracelets work. And according to the director's commentary, so does the Y girls. We just have to find what radio frequency she's on. Leave it to me. Got it. Set your comms to 92.5. Rocco, come in, Captain. Hello? Who is this? For years, I dreamed of the day that Rocco would be in my clutches. Captain Rocco, my name is Shawnee. You need to do exactly what you did to escape in the scene. Use your rope cutter, then deactivate the rocket's countdown by destroying the control panel. Deactivate a rocket? This is way above my pay grade. Use the tools in your sleeve. I don't know how to use them. What? But you're the captain. I'm not Captain Rocco. I'm an actor. My real name is Carolyn Katani, and I'm strapped to a rocket. I'm going to be rocket fuel, and this is definitely going to give me split ends. She isn't half as brave as Captain Rocco would be. That means she needs your help more than ever. You're right. Captain Rocco always said someone has to be brave, and that someone has to be us. We have to get up there and save her. But how? That thing could really get us somewhere, if it could fly. What if it can? The quadcopter might not be able to fly right now, but we could use its parts to give this spaceship rocket power. Don't worry, Captain Rocco. We're coming for you. Here's the turbo throttle. And that's the speaker activator. Huh. There's the chute release. Shawnee, you should be piloting this ship. You know this spaceship much better than me. And probably better than anyone on the show. But I can't. I'm not like Captain Rocco. Captain Rocco isn't like Captain Rocco. We need Captain Shawnee. Okay, if I remember correctly, the fuse is connected to a timer. Hence the gargantuan clock. Captain, you give the orders. How do we proceed? Come on, Shawnee. I'm not about to let this dastardly diva fry super sci-fi come before I can enter the costume contest. I can't. I just don't know. Shawnee, if you can't save her, no one can. All right, girls. You're right. Let's go save Rocco. You two free Rocco. You have all the tools you need in Lila's expertly crafted costumes. Bam! Fashion to the rescue again. But what are you gonna do? I'm gonna stop that rocket! It was I, the great villainous Queen of Pluto, who would finally bring about Brave Rocco's downfall. Out of here, Rocco. Thanks, whoever you are. We've got a problem. Our tools won't work on metal. We can't cut through it. We can't leave Rocco. We need another way, Shawnee. We can't free Rocco. It's up to you. Okay, 
Choices? Of course I saw it. And now, instead of being the villain, you can play it differently. Choose to be the hero. Just let her go. I don't care about being the hero. I only want people to remember my name. And now, they will! Uh-oh. Ten seconds to take off! Y Girls Laser Force Tag 2000 helped my accuracy. And every Y Girls fan knows the Y ship has a parachute under every seat. I set it on the collision course and jumped out with the chute. Easy. You saved the day, Shawnee. Yeah, you're much braver than Rocco any day. I'm just glad Captain Rocco is safe and sound and back in her element. Posing for pictures. <laughs> get her 15 minutes of fame after all. Now, what do you say we enjoy this con a little? Go big! Today was way cooler than I could have imagined. Even cooler than getting a selfie with Rocco. But I'm sorry we missed the costume contest, Lila. Me too. I... Attention, ladies and gentlemen! The, the winner, winner of the, the Super, Super Sci-Fi Con, con annual, annual Costume Contest, contest is... Lila Draper, with her impeccable renditions of the Y Girls! Huh? Ever hear of entry by email? OMG, OMG, OMG! Whatcha doing, Gigi? Checking on the con costume contest. It appears they forgot to call me to tell me I won. Hmm. Vindictive actress tries to shoot celebrity into space. <laughs> Sounds like someone I'd like to meet. Ha! Here it is. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <gasps> Polly Pocket was at Super Sci-Fi Con? And she won my costume contest? Oh, wait! Those world rats look just like my new figurines. I... <gasps> I had her right in my bag. But didn't we have a nice Polly-free day? Well, no! 